Hello, and welcome to this webinar introduction to Gene Marker Software by Soft Genetics. My name is Sarah Copeland, and in this webinar, I will be giving you a general understanding of the features and workflow of Gene Marker. Gene Marker is genotyping software designed for DNA fragment analysis. It is fast, accurate, and robust, but remains intuitive and biologist friendly. GeneMarker has many post-genotyping applications, including analysis for MLPA, Fragile X, Trisomy, MSI, and more. GeneMarker is equipped with a useful panel editor tool that accommodates both commercial kits and custom chemistries. GeneMarker can be run with Windows 8 and 10 and is compatible with all major file and CE instrument types. We are now going to take a look at the basic workflow of GeneMarker. The first thing I'd like to show you is user management. We're now at GeneMarker's title screen, and from here you can set up user management by simply going to Help, User Management. After you've given a password to the administrator account, adding new users is easy. Just click Add User. Give the new user a name and a password, select a user type, and then click OK. The Access Rights button allows you to more finely adjust the abilities of each user to better fit their skill or position. The administrator can also input the name of the institution or lab so that it can be featured in the report header. Note that the program keeps an internal record of who uses the program and when. This can be viewed under the History tab. Furthermore, GeneMarker has a built-in audit trail and user actions are documented and available for review. When you are ready to load your traces, simply navigate to File, Open Data, or click the folder icon. Click Add and then navigate to your traces. GeneMarker is compatible with file types from CE instruments including ABI Prism, Applied Biosystems Seek Studio, and Promega Spectrum Compact CE Systems Genetic Analyzers. Once you have your traces, click OK. GeneMarker organizes the raw data in the file tree to the left and displays the electropherogram in the center. Navigating through your data is easy. Scroll through dye colors by clicking the dye icon in the upper left or look at all colors simultaneously by clicking the all color browser icon. You can zoom in on a trace by drawing a box from the left to the right. You can zoom out by drawing a box from the right to the left. And finally, scroll by holding the right mouse key and dragging. Data processing is organized by a three window run wizard. To access the run wizard, click the green arrow or you can go to Project Run. In the first pane, you can select your panel, if you have one, size standard, color, and analysis type. Click Next to get to the data processing screen. Here you can set the analysis parameters for your project. These parameters are broken into three major sections. These options to the left pertain to how the raw data is processed. This lower option allows you to select how size calls are made. And finally, this section to the right influences how allele calls are made, including how stutter peaks are filtered. For more information regarding optimization of these parameters, I encourage you to read Chapter 2 of the User Manual. However, for the majority of the applications, the default settings will work just fine. On the last page of the Run Wizard, you can select an allelic ladder and positive control template if you have them and you can also adjust how alleles are scored. Before continuing, I'd like to go back to the first page of the Run Wizard. All of the settings we've just covered can be conveniently saved as a template. As you can see here, I have many different templates, each for different analysis types. With this feature, I must only adjust my parameters once for each new procedure. Now, I can simply select my template Click Next, Next, and OK. Data analysis is rapid. A 96-well CE plate takes an average of 15 seconds. 
Again, samples are organized in a file tree to the left, but this time they're color-coded according to their size calls. Green means that the size calling was successful. Yellow means that size calling needs verification, and red means that size calling did not occur. Allele calls are summarized to the right in the allele report table. Here, a similar color scheme is used. Green means that the allele has passed all analysis parameters. Yellow means that at least one parameter is in the check range. And red means that the allele failed at least one parameter. Information regarding each peak is summarized in this chart below the electropharogram. A useful size calibration chart can be found by clicking the size calibration icon in the upper toolbar. Now that genotyping is complete, you can use one of GeneMarker's many post-genotyping applications, which are under Applications. There are post-genotyping applications for ecology research, such as clustering for dendrograms and relationship testing. There are also clinical research applications for MLPA, MSI, trisomy, LOH, MSMLPA, cystic fibrosis, fragile X, and other repeat expansion diseases. Each application is the subject of a future webinar. The project can also be saved and opened later, or an allele report can be printed. To do this, simply click the printer icon. There are many options that allow you to modify the report to your liking. When ready, view the report by clicking Preview. These reports can be printed or saved as PNG, JPEG, or PDF files. One last feature I'd like to show you is the panel editor. The panel editor can be accessed through Tools, Panel Editor. As expected, here you can organize and modify your panels. A particularly useful feature of the panel editor is that entire markers can be shifted by holding the shift key and dragging the mouse. This ability lets users easily correct misalignment due to samples running more quickly or slowly than expected on the CE apparatus. We go into a little more detail on panel calibration during its own webinar. This has been a brief overview of the basics of GeneMarker. In this webinar, we introduced user management, loading traces, processing data, reviewing data, printing options, and the panel editor. I encourage you to view our other GeneMarker webinars, which either focus on specific post-genotyping applications or explore certain features at a more advanced level. For more information or a free 30-day trial of GeneMarker or other soft genetics products, please visit www.softgenetics.com or email info at softgenetics.com. For technical support questions, please write to tech underscore support at softgenetics.com. Thank you for watching.